What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Sergeant Moby here, and welcome to the final episode of Hotline Miami. It's been a long time coming, um, but I think it is time that we finish off this epic, epic story, and we are now seeing the uh, the other perspective of Helmet, who we killed in the Fon Hom Central Hub. We have one new message. Hi, it's Jane. It was nice to see you again. How about another date tonight? Pick me up at uh, North 158th Street around 9, okay. And put on those nice, one of those nice suits you've got. You're taking me somewhere fancy this evening. Click. Good job too. Because we need a date. Uh, let's jump on the motorcycle and see how this date goes. Well, here we are in the Fon Hom hub. Now we can actually go around murdering everyone. This is the murder simulator that we have been asking for this entire playthrough. I know it's been pretty awesome with uh, with Jacket, but some just something about Helmet just is just so much fun. Mainly because you can... It's allowing you to murder everyone. Massive murder spree over here. Having the time of me damn life. You can die too, friendo. Alrighty. Where's the big bastard? There he is. Hi. Stay away from me. Security. Security. Look. So, please don't kill me. Please. I'll do anything. Sorry, Broham. You gotta die. And now, we hack into a computer. If you cast your minds back, this is when Jacket shows up. Well, not quite now. In a second. Interesting. North 87th place, huh? That's where you've been hiding. And there's Jacket. Going, hey there, friendo. How's it going? Get out of here if you don't want to die. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, have it your way. Oh, God. I got him. We good. He just went straight for the fucking golf club. Had your chance. Ooh. Lovely. So now we're saying what would happen if we didn't actually kill this guy when um, when we had the chance, basically. Or rather, if we died and, uh, and Jacket was allowed to go on his merry way and do basically whatever the fuck he does. Um, the end of the Hotline Miami uh, thing. The key tower is gone. Oh no, no, the key, key tower is there. The, the little midget in the um, in the bathroom is gone. The leopard is still there. Um, or is it a cheetah? I can never remember. You have one new message. Hi, it's Ben from Miami Funeral Parlor. Just been calling to tell you we have a tombstone you ordered. Done and ready to be delivered. The little luck, you should be getting it before the weekend. Click. Now that wasn't ominous at all. That wasn't telling us, okay, by the way, we're going to try and kill you now. That's not what it was saying at all. It was actually saying, hey, we've got this tombstone. Do you want it? Alrighty, here we go. Hey there, friend. Hmm. What's this? Looks like you need a password to access this computer. You do indeed, friendo. There's a lot of mops, and there's a lot of stuff just casually going around here. Around here. I think that's a server bank. Um, but here we are. We're in sewers now. Oh, we can't fight against the tide, apparently. Um, but we can just say hello to these friendos. What's going on down here? You don't know? <laughs> That's pathetic. I thought you had this figured out by now. Make a guess, asshole. Not that it makes any different now, does it? You're the phone guys? No one. <laughs> We're independent. Did all it, it all ourselves. Hard to believe, isn't it? Not that it makes any difference now, does it? You think this is a game? We were bored, that's why. Why would we need to justify our actions? You've done far worse things than we have, haven't we? Haven't you? Besides, do you know how much money we're making? 
Hmm. Why are you killing people? If you say so. You don't understand why we're doing this. Why should we tell you? Any last words? Ha! Huh, you seem disappointed. What were you expecting? I think we're through with your questions. Yeah, your mouth creep. Anyone not old enough to get that reference, it's from Robocop. I highly recommend you go and watch the first one. You can die. Hey there, friend. Ew. Nice. There's nothing, uh, nothing either way that we can see, really. Nope, nothing down there. So now we can just climb back up. And uh, I think if we get on our bike, that is the end of this mystery. And here we are, credits rolling. Alrighty, let's switch out to FaceTime view. And uh, I'll leave you with a little message. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Hotline Miami. I hope so, so much that you enjoyed the series. I loved playing Hotline Miami. The reviews on Hotline Miami 2 aren't amazing. But uh, if it comes up in the Steam sale, I'll definitely pick it up. And then we can go on and, uh, and do more epic murder quests in Hotline Miami 2. Uh, as, as of the time of recording, it is now Christmas Eve. I hope, I hope you all have an amazing, amazing Christmas. Uh, I hope you get everything you ask for. Try not to eat too much. Try not to get too drunk. And don't have any arguments with your family. Maybe it's tips for, uh, for Christmas, right there. Um, but we are very, very close to hitting a 10,000 views. The last time I checked, we were two views off. Two views off, hitting 10,000 views. I've been doing this for almost five years. On and off, five years. Um, I never thought that I would ever get as far as I've got. Um, just hit 152 subscribers. Um, like I said, almost 10,000 views. Over, over my career on YouTube, that has been absolutely amazing. I've had the time of my life. I love doing this. I'm not going to stop doing this. Um, and I hope you guys are around to, uh, to see where we go from here and join me along the way. But uh, if you did enjoy the video, ladies and gentlemen, you can, can always help and add to that subscribe account by hitting the subscribe button. It's on my channel, it's also on the end card, as well as a link to the entire series of Hotline Miami. There'll be a, an annotation there, and you can, uh, you can watch the entire story from beginning to end. But until next time, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sergeant Movie, signing up.